Though unseasonably warm, we fell just shy of the record high of 81 this afternoon, at least as of this weather uh, video update for you on NDWX.com. Officially topped out at 79 at IND this afternoon. 20 degrees above the normal high of 59. And when we sum everything up on the day, we ran 17 degrees above normal. Amazing stuff, and uh, the warm weather pattern just continues to rumble on here. Very pleasant this evening, as we would imagine, after topping out in the upper 70s here on the first day of November. Some mid and high level clouds scooting through the area. But dry conditions will continue on Wednesday, and we'll make another run at some record Warm temperatures topping out again, we think, in the mid to upper 70s. High resolution data suggest, again, just that. Mid to upper 70s, is a good bet, across most central Indiana neighborhoods by Wednesday afternoon. Changes are brewing, though. We've got a cold front that will slip in here late Wednesday night into Thursday morning with some showers and embedded thunderstorms as well. This is uh, Paul's in the forecast radar here off the high resolution NAM, courtesy of weatherbell.com, at midnight Thursday morning. We'll go ahead and fast forward, and you notice that uh, area of showers and thunderstorms just slide through central Indiana. We think probably somewhere between a half and three quarters of an inch of rain on average for central Indiana. There will be areas of less and areas that receive a little bit more, but in general we think about a half inch to three quarters of an inch as that cold front slides through here Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Now we do turn much cooler as we go into the upcoming weekend, but still running above normal. We think overnight lows are going to fall into the lower 40s and afternoon highs will top out mostly in the lower 60s through the weekend. So considering again overnight lows should be in the upper 30s to around 40 and daytime highs in the upper 50s, we're still running above normal. This is a look at the latest GFS forecast model and we'll put it into motion again showing that cold front slipping through here late tomorrow night and Thursday morning turning cooler but slightly milder than average to wrap up the work week and head into the upcoming weekend. High pressure remains in control and that will supply dry conditions. The next weather item on the agenda that has our attention is out there at the middle and latter portions of next week. Now uh, the 12Z run had a uh, rather robust uh, significant storm system impact in the area and that's still on the table. 18Z here just a, a one run later sh shows no signs of that at least impacting us locally. Again, uh, far too early for details. There is something of significance, I think, that looms the middle and latter portions of next week, though details are going to have to be fine-tuned as we go through the next several days. As a whole, this is the beginning of what will be likely a step-down process to a colder weather pattern for the second half of the month. Now, that's not saying we're going to go into a full-blown winter pattern by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, uh, the transition from such a warm pattern to what we do ultimately believe will be a colder pattern is going to have that step down process uh, take place where we'll have bouts of colder air and then uh, warmth fighting back. But as a whole, this is the beginning of that pattern, we think. It's not until we get to Thanksgiving on through the Christmas holiday that we really think we get into that downright wintry pattern. And speaking of the wintry pattern, we did issue our 2016-2017 NDWX.com Winter Outlook over the weekend. If you haven't had a chance to uh, take a look at that, by all means, log in to NDWX.com. It's there available for you to read, and I won't bore you to death uh, this evening on this video update. We'll scroll to the bottom and just show you what we uh, forecast. And we forecast a snowy, uh, stormy winter here for central Indiana. Our average snowfall is right around 26 inches uh, for the winter season, we forecast amounts likely to top 35 inches on the so, uh, season as a whole. Now that's counting first flake to last flake, and a colder than normal winter as well to the tune of about a degree uh, below average when you factor in December, January, and February, or meteorological winter. Again, NDWX.com has the full write-up. Be sure to check that out if you haven't. In the meantime, guys, make it a wonderful Tuesday evening, and we'll talk with you soon.